Welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Shafe, and with me today is Mike Nash, Windows NT Product Manager with Microsoft. Mike, I have Windows 3.1 running over here on my HP Vector. You have Windows NT running over there on your machine. They look almost identical. What, what is the difference? Really, Stuart, the idea was to make them look as much the same as was possible. They both use the same familiar program manager, and in fact, a lot of the tools, like the file manager, are exactly the same. In fact, if you could launch right, them I'll on launch your machine, my file manager in 3.1, you launch yours in NT. You see, they're basically the same. You've got, I've got a few extra things that, that aren't there on Windows 3.1. For instance, I can have long file names. A file like name something like the Computer Chronicles can have a space in it, uh -huh. whatever special characters I want to use. You'll also notice that Windows NT automatically generates a short file name so that older DOS applications yeah. can be 100% compatible on Windows NT. Windows NT is also designed to be a secure operating system, so we actually have full support to control the permissions and see who can look at a file. The Computer Chronicles plan can be viewed by anyone, but we want to make sure that all the power users have full access to this. So we'll just simply go in, choose power users from the list, add them, give them full control, uh -huh. and now they can access this file in any way they want. Now while Windows NT runs all the standard Windows applications that you'd ever want, Windows NT is designed to run more than one application at the same so time. So it looked the same on the surface, but you were running all these other operations underneath. Right in the background, exactly. Windows NT is also designed to be a very manageable system. So if we actually launch the performance monitor, you'll see that I can actually look and control exactly how the system is being used. And in this case, I'm monitoring CPU utilization in total and seeing how it's being shared between the applications and between the system. We're going to visit the Microsoft Labs up in Redmond, Washington to meet the NT development team. The Windows NT team at Microsoft's Redmond headquarters barely had time for a brief vacation before work started on product improvements. Before the next major version release, codenamed Cairo, is ready, Microsoft will release NT upgrades. We're sitting down trying to figure out how to get an update out with sort of some, some small features, uh, double space and some better networking, enterprise networking support and uh, better performance and then figure out how to get to the next ease of use features in a seamless uh, short times period without disrupting current applications that are in progress. System engineers rebuild and test the NT operating system on a daily basis. There's an interoperability test lab where they're building connections to OS2 and Novell servers. Ongoing tests are run for software compatibility, but special emphasis is placed on hardware compatibility since NT runs on a variety of platforms. All the machines that passed the test were put on a hardware compatibility list and we had over 1,600 machines on our hardware compatibility that which is, I believe, a, a record for any operating system. Program managers say Cairo will bring a new level of intuitive ability to NT. Cairo uh, will make it easier for people to say, just give me the, the sales data for the month of December and the system will take care of finding the data. It'll also enable people to build solutions where, uh, where they can work with the data in exactly the way they want to. They don't have to worry about what application they're running in. They don't have to worry about the exact structure of the data. Things will just flow more s smoothly in the way that people want it. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Janelle Patterson.